Hello everybody, hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. This is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on Android Framework Components. So in today's tutorial, I want to share you all the details of uh, how the API flow goes from the application layer till your framework layer. So we know in our framework layer, multiple APIs and functions will be defined. And in our Android application, we have to just use these APIs so that the underlying function in the framework layer will be executed. So how this flow goes, we will see. To demonstrate that, I have written a simple application which has two buttons. Clicking on the first button, portrait mode and there is second button landscape mode clicking on the first button portrait mode will rotate the device screen to the portrait mode and clicking on the second button it will rotate the device screen to the landscape mode so the function i am using here is set requested orientation this is the function and the class I am using is activity info and the API is screen underscore orientation underscore portrait. So this is the value. If this value is there, the device screen will be set to portrait mode. So if for the same function set requested orientation, if I pass screen underscore orientation underscore landscape as the parameter, the device uh, screen will be rotated to landscape mode. So here is a demo. My device screen is in portrait mode. I'll click on uh, rotate to landscape mode. So the device screen is rotated. Again, I'll click on portrait mode. Now the screen is rotated back to portrait mode. So this is how the app works. What I wanted to show you all is where exactly uh, these APIs are present in the framework layer. How to find the APIs in the framework layer. I wanted to show you all that information. So here first of all activity info dot we are using. So we come to know activity info is a class. What we have to do we can open the um, Android XREF and here we in the file path we can search activity activity info.java right now i have already opened and kept so activity info.java is present in framework base core java android content pm folder so this is the path where activity info.java is present so in this particular file we can come to know there is a structure which defines there is a definition for each kind of orientation okay unspecified if user does not specify any orientation method it is set to unspecified to set to landscape portrait all these different things with sensor without sensor user locked orientation locked that means if, if i set orientation locked i cannot change the orientation so all these different modes are defined and declared in this activity file and each one has given has been given a constant value for example screen orientation landscape that value is zero screen orientation portrait that value is given as one this is the standard values defined for each orientation mode or type so we can go through this more to understand in detail how this orientation will work next I wanted to show you all uh, how to search this function in which file and in which line number do we get this function for that just select the required function right click and go to declaration select declaration so we can open we can see one more new file is opened activity dot java so uh, in this activity dot java file we can see the function so this is the function which is responsible for setting the screen orientation this is the function who is doing all the job so orientation whatever we pass one or two or zero based on that orientation is being set so this in turn is using activity manager if we want to see this in android xref so, so now we know right activity.java is the file so we can go i have already opened here in android xref so in android xref activity.java file is present in framework base core java android app so in this folder activity.java file is present 
so here we can see set requested orientation this is the function i am calling from my application layer from my android application and int requested orientation i already showed you all right 0 1 to different values are given for different orientation mode so when that value is passed activity manager in turn is called and get service will be called and it is setting the orientation mode to the requested orientation so this is how it will work this is the framework file so that's all i wanted to show you all today i'll meet you all in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye